came up here and I stepped off the boat and somebody handed me an amber and it was like a European beer brewed in America and I fell in love with that beer. Then I tried the smoked porter the first year they made it, 1988. It was the most incredible, most complex beer I've ever had and that's why I started working here. The Alaskan Brewing Company isn't just a brewery in Alaska. It's a brewery because of Alaska. When Jeff and Marcy first started the brewery, they did a bunch of research about breweries in Alaska uh, before Prohibition. It turned out there were about 50 breweries throughout the state. And they found an old article that had an interview with a brewmaster from the Douglas City Brewing Company. Being in Alaska at the turn of the century, uh, they didn't have any reliable refrigeration or heating. So he brewed a German ale beer. He stored them in a coal mine, which was the only place where he could really find a consistent temperature. So it was at a colder temperature. That meant fermenting for a longer amount of time, which resulted in a really smooth beer. So we follow that recipe with our Alaskan Amber and the rest of our beers by cold fermenting an ale yeast for a longer amount of time, which means all of our beers are, are characteristically really smooth and rich. A truly Alaskan beer would have to capture the essence of the state, and these beers do, as they include ingredients like glacial-fed water, Sitka spruce tips, and alderwood. Anyone who works for the company, from myself to our accounting department, can pair up with one of our brewers and come up with a recipe on what we call our, our one barrel system. It can be anything from like a, a chocolate pumpkin stout to a jalapeno IPA is one we've done before, or a, a ginger shandy, which is what I'm drinking right now. The Alaskan Brewing Company prides itself as a craft brewery that puts its stock in high quality and variety versus mass production. In fact, the total amount of beer they've produced in their 25 years equals the amount brewed by a major company in just two eight-hour shifts. We all feel pretty lucky. Not only do we get to brew beer in Alaska, full day of brewing beer, then you go hike a mountain, go fishing, go hike on an ice field. There's just a whole lot of other perks to working for a brewery. So anyways, uh, Outside Magazine thought so too. And this year, for the second year, we were named as one of the top 20 best places to work in the country. I get people to try beers they normally wouldn't try. I'm kind of a beer ambassador, yeah, yeah. Life is good for us. 